I signed Proclamation Number 1081, placing the entire Philippines under martial law. On September 21, 1972, then President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law, putting the entire Philippines under dictatorship. That was 46 years ago. Several thousands were killed or disappeared or tortured. Many are still missing until now. And there was a wave of human rights violations. Uh, repression was rampant. The freedom of expression, freedom to organize, all of that was curtailed. We were under a dictatorship over 10 years. It's very important to remember the martial law period, especially now when we're seeing the resurgence of dictatorship in the Philippines. Uh, Rodrigo Duterte has been waging a war on drugs that has killed an estimated 20,000 people already. He has been singling out and persecuting the opposition. He's been stepping up the war in the countryside. So we're seeing very disturbing parallels with the dictatorship of um, Ferdinand Marcos. President Duterte has said that he wants Ferdinand Marcos' son to become his successor. We reject this dictatorship. We don't think this dictatorship is going to solve the many problems that we in the Philippines face. We should let him know that if he pushes forward with his plans to really intensify this uh, repressive rule, that he will face strong unified resistance from the people and that he will meet the same fate as Ferdinand Marcos, which is ouster, which is infamy. Our activity was a play on a traditional Filipino game called Tumbam Preso. It's about hitting a can and trying to make it topple. We made the can symbolize the kind of elite rule that we have in the Philippines and we wanted pe people to take action in their own hands. It's only people's action that will bring down the dictatorship and change the system.